Hi, my name is Dr. John Latham, and I am an online tutor with TutorHero.net. I received um, my PhD in biochemistry and molecular biology, and I did this at the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center. I am currently a postdoctoral fellow doing research on epigenetics, and I tutor a wide range of subjects here, shown here both in chemistry and biology. And I do this both at the high school level to the undergraduate level and even the graduate level, and including some test prep for different biology and chemistry. So today I'm going to demonstrate for you a chemistry problem. And with this, I'm going to illustrate how an actual tutoring sessions with Tutor Hero uh, would work. So here's the question that I'm going to be solving with you today. And this is uh, a commercial method used to peel potatoes is to soak them in a solution of sodium hydroxide for a short time, remove them from the sodium hydroxide and spray off the peel. The concentration of sodium hydroxide is normally in the range of three molar to six molar. The sodium hydroxide is analyzed periodically. In one such anal analysis, 45.7 mils of 0.5 molar hydrogen sulfide is required to react completely with 20 mole sample of sodium hydroxide. What is the concentration of the sodium hydroxide solution? So I picked this problem for a couple reasons. One of them, it's a uh, fairly common um, concentration molarity problem, but it's a little more complicated in that it's also a titration problem. And this is something that a lot of students have problems with, so I wanted to work through it with you to show you how it how you can solve this. So the first thing that you need to do with this type of problem is to always write down the equation for the reaction for the um, for the problem. So in this, they talk about um, that they interact sodium hydroxide with hydrogen sulfide. So let me write down the equation for this reaction. So you have sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen sulfide, and that reacts to form water and sodium sulfate. So when you look at this equation, one of the first things you have to be able to realize when doing this type of problem is you have to check to make sure this equation is balanced. So the way I wrote this out Okay, I wrote this wrong. 